Good morning. My name is Mary Kay Worth, and this is entry number 173-173 of my original unpublished Family Legacy Library works. I am in this enclosed because I'm glamping until my own stuff gets here. It's okay. You know, sometimes life happens like that. Anyway, I'm reading from the bench, and every single time I'll start with the introduction which has that picture with it right there. Similar to a table set for a meal, the bench has become a regular gathering place on the dock of the cottage at Long Point State Park. It does not sit there as a general rule, except when Mary Kay visits for more than a few days. It is hauled from the front of the cottage, separated from its mate, and placed with the support of the dock ladder facing the south. This is Cayuga Lake in the Finger Lakes region of Aurora, New York. Dawn or dusk, day or night, it awaits as respite, as a friend, certain that good things are happening here and nearby. Not a lot of words are needed. And I decided just to read one page because I want to tell you the story of this. You know, this is all happening August 5th through 18th at Long Point State Park. And there are a couple of short words here. It's called Maiden Voyage. And see, that is a blow-up canoe. Kayak. That's the right word, kayak. And it's called Maiden Voyage because it finally went farther than the dock when I took it out. But Nate and Landon took it out in their time there. And they went quite a ways in it and turned around and came back. It is a blow up. I came home from my father's funeral in February and we were all gathering in the living room, drinking beer like my dad used to drink eating pretzels with French onion dip and dipping them in and a package came and it was big and it was long and I knew what it was and brought it in and just wasn't going to open it then but because it was so long and the looks of it my family all there thought it was a blow-up doll and, <laughs> and I knew it was a canoe so the very first time it got blown up it was in the living room at the house at 84 Brooklyn Street. Yeah, that's a good story. So happy glamping. I'll be doing lots of that. Take care.